this playoff series should be a battle. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. And he passes up ahead to Michelli. To his teammate. He scores! Frame, but 
there's a lot of game to go here. Yeah, and I always feel like those next few shifts are critical because you know your opponent, they're either going to respond or they're not. If they don't respond and you're on your toes, you push them back and you look for a second. Here's a short pass to Sunfist. Puck picked up by Boyd. The Coyotes played along the wing. There's a shot blocked in traffic. Moves it to Stetcher. Puck scooped up by Scantella. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sunfist. Arizona's got control of it now from the road end. Walked into the open ice. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that says just that. Grabs the puck at center. Centering feed! And that's stopped! Centering feed! And that's intercepted! Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Quick feed to Torpchenko. The Coyotes gain possession. Quick pass across to Schmaltz. And that's picked off by Blake. And that's intercepted by Schmaltz. Arizona's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. You've got to find a way to generate some offense. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Ingram's able to get to position and negate that dangerous slot shot. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Oh, just goes off his club, and it stays out. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Coyotes are clinging to a 2-1 lead. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Picked up along the way by Pareko. And that got cut up in traffic and goes off the stick. Zucker's picking up steam. Moves it to the middle. Both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And a good save on the play as action continues. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Just won the draw inside his own end. With possession along the wall. Quick snap! Scores! They tied it up! And we are back to even! Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. I love this snapshot from in tight, James. That beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. In the final moments of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Blues get a hold of the draw. Great use of the stick here at center ice. I'm not trying to take your job, James, but I have to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer. St. Louis is across the line and on the attack. Picked up by Jersey. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Solid hit on that play. Neighbors takes the puck. Quick pass to Sundqvist. The Coyotes gain possession in their own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. A centering chance! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. St. 
Loomis wins the faceoff. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Kraus plays it against the boards. Slides the puck to play. Moves it quickly over to Torpchenko. Here's the chance! Stops the rocket of a shot! And now he moves it quickly to Boyd. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's a shot! Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Rejected. Moves it to Dumba. And that tears off a body in the lane. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. And we are underway, still tied up here in the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? St. Louis needs to find more energy if they're going to break this tie, James. I mean, they haven't generated a ton of shots, and they also haven't driven the paint. They have an aggressive attack mentality. That's what they need if they want to get into this game. Takes the feed. This is certainly a team that seems to play with more confidence when they're not chasing the game, Cheryl. Yeah, it's always better to be when you're in front, James. I mean, you know that you have the lead. You have a little more confidence when the puck's on your stick. But there's a lot of runway left. They have to play with that confidence, but they have to manage the puck as well. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Take it along the wall by Kapanen. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Good use of the body on the play. The Coyotes have it from their own end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Quick feed to Pacelli. Denied by the goaltender. Pareko's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick pass to Dumba. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Letty. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Arizona's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks. They've had great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Oh, and he lays a thunderous hit there. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. to be played in this period. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. St. Louis is gonna start with the puck after winning the draw. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Laying the body. Gunther's got it against the boards. Handles the pass. Gives some nothing in front. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. It's a pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Arizona's got the decided edge of the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. The Blues win the draw on their own end. Poked away in the offensive end. Takes the puck. Zero. The score! And that's back-to-back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row back-to-back. Here they come. The Coyotes now lead it by a pair here early in the 
period. Well, they've been rewarded for their efforts to start this game. They've controlled the pace of play, and they've held the majority of the shots. Thomas takes possession after that center ice face-off. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Shot! And he had the answer on that one. Ingram's been bailed out by his team here, no question, James. I mean, he struggled between the pipes. They're doing everything they can to get on the board and keep this game in their favor. He's just got to take a breath there after that save and find a way to continue to make them. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Arizona's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Bukestad's won the draw here in the defensive zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves the puck. Bukestad's got it on the offensive end. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Blaze win a big draw on their own end. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Here he is on the backhand. Oh, what a stop by Ingram. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Moves the puck up to Scandella. Sends it in on the attack. Battle along the wall. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Moves it quickly over to Keller. Nice zone entry from the right side. The Blues have it now. Puck dumped in, and the forwards will head off. And he takes the pass. Here they are on the attack. Oh, great save right there on the play. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Hayden's across the line now oh. on the attack in the offensive end. You know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Dumps the puck in. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Puts it on net. That's gone by Ingram. Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. Minnesota's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. And sneaks in and grabs possession. St. Louis has it near the wall. Here's a short pass to Shen. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Boyd. Arizona has been working hard away from the puck and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pre-game, how important it's going to be. Well past the midway mark of this period. Arizona's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Thomas quick on the draw. Pushes it across to Shen. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Moves the puck to Dermott. Moves it to Dumba. And it's a quick pass to Bugstad. Moves it to the middle. And that's blocked in front. Pareko's got the puck in his own zone. Oh, what a hit on the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle. Shoulder to shoulder and just laid it on thick. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Kraus. Arizona's got it along the wall. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Quick feed to crew. Oh, what a save in front. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. And this time, he bails his team out. And he slides it quickly to Sunfist. Picked up by Gunther. From off the wall and onto a stick. Here's a chance! Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. 
The Blues carried along the wall. Reaches out and uses the stick. Arizona's looking to break out. Dumps it in. Moves it over to play. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Here he is from the slot. 40 minutes of play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Coyotes are leading in this game, but I don't know if the coaches are going to like it that much, James. Everyone's cheating on the offensive side of the puck, and it's been back and forth action, back game. And it's all about offense. Now a quick pass to Keller. St. Louis takes possession of the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Arizona's got the puck in the defensive end. Nice zone entry from the left. St. Louis has possession of it now. Thomas takes it into the offensive end. Fires it on net. Oh, big time save by Ingram. Denies him again. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. He looks deep to Cairo. Into the offensive zone. The Blues gain control of the puck. Quick pass to Kapanen. From center, they get into the assassin area. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Coyotes cross the blue line and are on the attack. What a steal in his own end. Lead pass ahead. Here he is, wrestling on that. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Grabbed along the board by Hayes. And that's blocked away. And he loses control here. Into the attacking area from the left side. And the puck skips away after that move. Gunther's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Oh, what a save on the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. And look at this, these fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you, because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. Musa quickly over to Saad. A feet out front. And that goes off a body and a ride. Pokes it away in his own end. Ingram's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in, and that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. Arizona's looking to break out of their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Some solid defensive work in the own end with the poke check. Pass out front. Takes a shot. Good save by Ingram. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. Arizona's taking possession in their own end. Knocked away with the stick by Pareko. Here's a short pass to Shen. Big time score! And a quick strike here puts them right back into this one. Well, the game opens up here now, James, as they're within one. And if they can continue this press, they can get the equalizer. you got to believe that they can do it right now as you feel the momentum shift. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James. And he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible. But this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. 
St. Louis has made it a one goal game in the third. Now, can they even it? Well, it's going to start with the face off right here. You got all the momentum, and you have to continue to build upon it. And possession is critical. You have to gain entry and really own the zone. Great read by Thomas. The Coyotes look to start the transition game. Kuznevich is a true sniper, James, and he's already got two in the game, and you know he's looking for his third. Schmaltz moves the puck. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. Scooped up along the wall by Michelli. He position they're in down the stretch now, Cheryl. I'd take a two-goal lead at the back half of the third period any day of the week, James. It's just about closing it out now, and that comes down to managing the puck and limiting any turnovers. Krug's got the puck. Handles it along the blue line. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Slides it diagonally to Michelli. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. The Coyotes' top line is on the ice, and any time they're on the ice, they create opportunity. It's because of their motion and their gifted... All alone! Scores! Absolutely critical finish on the breakaway! All the way down the ice, James. The ability to get away from the pack. Look over his shoulder, know where everyone is, and then that clean finish. Unbelievable goal. has come to life in period number three as they get one back. This is going to be a battle of wills here, James. Both teams want this game. The defenders, they want to make sure that they're cleaning up the house. And on the other side of it, you got a team that just scored. They can feel it. They're just within one. They have to continue to attack. And that's a smart heads-up play by Dumba. Dished on over to Gunther. Good hit to pump him off the puck. St. Louis takes it across the line. Shot! Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one! This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Coyotes win the draw. Picked up along the wall by Gunther. Moves it to Dumba. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Pass in front. Puts it off the post. Feeds the puck to Neighbors. And he's knocked off the puck there. Play is called for offside. Late goings of this period. St. Louis still needs one more goal in order to even things up. The Blues get a hold of the puck off the draw. Good read with the stick to break that up. Off the left wing and into center. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. And he takes the feed. Dumps it into the Ozone. Arizona's got a hold of the puck. Now over to Bugstad. Well, if you want to be out there at the end of the game, you got to make smart decisions with the puck, and that's one right there, just electing to put the puck in deep and Kate play safe. Fantastic save from the blue line, and that's blocked. St. Louis looks to attack. Arizona's got it in their own zone. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Pass to Shen. Moves the puck across to Thomas. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. Smart defensive play there. Quick feed to Krug. Huge steal on his own end. The Blues really need a goal here. They pull the goalie and the extra attackers out. Dishes it to Krug. Hayes crosses the line and is on the attack. Oh, what a hit. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear Bone-crushing hits. Wide open net. And into the wide open cage. It's an empty net goal. Oh, and a sigh of relief as well as it's a real insurance mark. You put it in the empty cage and you don't ice it. That's a good thing. That's a strong effort all the way around. Stingy defensively at the end of the game. And they're able to get that empty. 
crowd has to be frustrated. The players are playing well tonight, but they just can't finish on some of these chances, and we're running out of time for the third. Final word of the sound of bringing this one to an end. An impressive team effort as they take the first one and draw the proverbial first blood into the series, Cheryl. Uh, yeah, and that's exactly how they would have drawn it up, James. You want to make sure that you are the one that establishes the play and pace of the game right off the top, and you want to set the tone. Well, they did that, and now their opponent's squeezing their sticks a little tight. The playoffs are a war of attrition, and we know that they will continue, and we will see you then at the next broadcast. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sebelski. We'll talk to you then.